match number three of the day catch versus v Villipity. all right pre-bends well that is a surprise for me killer Villipity looks like he has actually done some matches this season he is at 4400 which means he has done his placement matches here we go, Nasha and the Valentis are pre-banned. Two monsters that we saw most used for both players. I am liking looking at those three silver stars there. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get to see those rare light dark units though. Villapiti with the Masha first pick. Very quick, locked in. I'm sure that Villapiti has a really complete box. And also, we know that he likes damage. So this is almost his prime meta. If he brings out the Masha and the Dominic and some of his other powerful damage dealers and he takes that first turn, it's going to be tricky for Catch. Catch responds with an Oliver first pick. Lima second pick has locked them in. Villapiti taking the time to consider his uh, uh, counter. He goes with the Merlong for the second unit and the Esha for the third unit. I do like that Esher pick actually. Villapiti signaling he wants to take that first turn. With Esher speed boots into Merlong and Masho, he's going to be able to take out a unit quite quickly. Catch is going to have to think about how he can deal with this draft. He's probably going to want to bring something that helps him outspeed Villapiti because Villapiti doesn't have any speed leaders at the moment. Catch brings out that Changpang and the Nephthys with also another speed lead on his draft locked in for the fourth unit. Well, Catch does have a second speed lead, but he still doesn't have a unit that helps him take the first turn. So Villapiti brings a secondary speed lead or another attack bar booster or something like that, then that would work out really nicely. But instead he decides to go for some hard Nessus counters. Interesting stuff. Very hard. He goes in with the Juno and the Veramos as his final pick. Very interesting catch with a Barbara as his final unit. I'm not actually a fan of the Juno and the Veramos. Villapiti switching it up to something that we're not used to. Villapiti wanting the second turn and to survive. And with Esha being banned out, Catch is going to get to move and do some serious damage to Villapiti's team. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Match number three, Banzarin. we got Villapiti versus Catch. Set number one, Barbara moving first. If Catch manages to take out this Masha quickly with the Barbara, and if the Chung Pung is able to land the strips, that's going to be incredible. Wow, Juno with the revenge getting that attack by increase, cutting in right now. Skill 1 <laughs> doing some serious damage from fire into water, Barbara below half HP right now. Interesting stuff that both of these players have chosen to use the not use their third skills essentially barbara not wanting to boost attack bar and juno not wanting to strip the buffs on uh and potentially stun a unit from villipity's combo that dragon's dance dismounting that barbara barbara's dismounted nephsis is done oh Marsha into oliver oliver impulse gun will he go back into veramos again goes into veramos veramos gets an attack by increase from the nemesis trigger Honestly, I think Catch made a mistake because this means that he didn't choose to use Barbara's skill and Barbara got dismounted before she even got to use any of her skills. But at the same time, I think things are still looking quite good for Catch because he has the Oliver on his field. He still has the Changpeng for reset potentially. And that means the Barbara might get another turn if Changpeng successfully uh, pushes down the attack bars. Wow, this Oliver doing a lot of work, resetting, uh, increasing the cooldown on the Merlong, then Impulse Gun into Veramos, and then Impulse Gun! Oh, Chang Pang! With the serious matter, dealing some damage into that Veramos and that Masha not looking too healthy right now. Of course, because the Masha had immunity on her, she was not, her tab wasn't reset, and she gets to take out that Barbara. And actually, Philippity is looking quite good value here. Here we go, um, Oliver with the Impulse Gun again, which is the skill 2. Will he go into Veramos and try to take it out? Or will he direct his damage elsewhere? Goes into the Masha, increases that cooldown. Chang Pang, skill 1, into Veramos. No! Leaving it surviving by an inch. I think that was a slight misplay from Catch. He could have finished off the Veramos with Oliver and Chang Pang and instead he chose to do a bit of chip damage onto the masher. I think Villa Petit is looking very mighty scary and this Juno is probably going to be able to 1v3. We're about to see um, Nephthys skill 1 into that Merlong lens, that silence, lens the attack break, defense break is on Merlong, Merlong skill 1. Where will he direct the damage? Will he take that Oliver out? 
You know what? The Veramos from Velipity must be incredibly efficient and incredibly tanky. Potentially minus wind on the Veramos as well because it survived for so long. Catch was desperately trying to take the Veramos out with those additional turns from Oliver and it wasn't quite enough. This Molong might be gone, but the Juno is... I mean, the Juno is just really, really strong up against both the Chungpung and the Neftis on Catch's side of the field. Yes, Villapiri looking very comfortable right now with that Juno. Juno revenging into that Nephthys, going into that Changpang, dealing damage into Changpang. Changpang skill one into Juno, that's nothing. Juno, over 2k per hit with that skill one. 2.3, almost 2.4. Indeed, the Juno actually... Some people say she got nerfed, some people say she got buffed, but in this situation, she certainly got buffed because Nephthys is giving her the speed uh, above every single turn. Great job to Vilipity. Indeed, that's a 1-0 to Vilipity there. And you guys said it, you know, you're not, you hit the nail on the head there. Juno dealing such big damage. The experience there shining through from Vilipity and uh, managing to sustain and get a 1-0 in his favor there, Baus. Indeed, the Juno did a huge amount of work, but let's not forget the Veramos as well. The Veramos survived for so long, and also he heals his team based on the remaining debuffs after his turn, and that was really handy as well. Of course, also bringing the HP lead, but I think that match could have been very different if Catch has not chosen to hold off the skills on his Barbara. If he just went hard with the Barbara skill free on Masha, the Masha probably would have been taken out a lot more quickly and the outcome of the match could be very different and he'll be left ruining that mistake. Absolutely. Uh, Killer, what does Catch do in this game too? How does he get himself back into this? I hope to see Catch adapt and um, counter um, Villapiti's strong draft and aggressive um, draft. So we're about to see. Indeed we are. Let's go into pick and bands. It is set two of this best of three. Let's see if Villapiti can finish it off while catching it back into this. Over to you, boys. Here, here we go, guys. Villapiti versus catch pre ban Zareen. The Juno that won the last match and the Lima get the pre ban. Double Oracle is getting pre ban right here. That Juno did a huge amount of work for catch in the previous match. Or rather, Villapiti in the previous match against catch and catch does not want to deal with it. His Nephthys is going to have a much easier time this round round if he decides to pick it up. First pick goes to catch. Catch, what will his first unit be? Many options out there. I think that Oliver is an incredible, uh, or rather a very important part of Catch's draft, but at the same time, he might want to steal some units from Villipity. Catch goes with the Marsha first pick. Villipity locks in the Oliver for the first pick. Well, it looks like these two players are trading units with each other. We saw Villipity taking the Masha last time round and Catch taking the Oliver and Barbara. And now things are mirrored. What's going on? Ooh, Villipity with the Oliver and the Barbara. And it's the second pick. I've got a feeling we're going to see a lot of Beast Riders in this match. Catch goes with the Valantis and the Nephthys is the second and third pick. Villipity brings out the Tableau. Are we going to see a Nasha? The Barbara is a good counter pick to the Masha. And of course, Villapiti also has the Nasha available to him, a unit that's not been pre banned. That's going to work really well with the rest of his draft with the Tableau. I'm pretty sure he'll pick that one up. And then Catch is going to have to think about how he is going to be able to survive that raw damage from the Nasha. Maybe a Leo is an essential pick right now, even though it counters his own Masha a little bit. As predicted, our boss Villapiti goes with the Tableau and the Nasha for this fourth unit catch. How will he pick his last two units? Also to note that Villipity has made a good choice to not actually bring any single target. Oh, wow, look at that, Killer. Jackson comes out to play as his fourth unit from Catcher's side. We heard he's got a stack box. And then Leo, final unit, locked in. I was saying that uh, Villipity's single target units, actually, you can avoid touching the Volantis and triggering his passive. But I really like this Jackson and the Leo pick. Jackson gives his team attack bar when Tableau moves, and also just whenever his uh, team's attack bar gets reduced in general. And Leo is a really strong counter, as I mentioned, to everything that Villipity has on the field. Villipity really favoring this Veramos. Veramos comes out to play as his final pick gets locked in. What kind of bends are we going to see? I think the Nasha is a lot more scary than the Veramos. He has two strong counters to the Tableau, so I think it's okay to let the Tableau through. But if you let the Nasha through with his other units, then it's going to be scary. I think for Villapiti, he might just want to ban the Leo because the Leo counters the rest of this draft so well. 
Jackson gets the ban. Nasha gets the ban. Leah stays in the field. Catch versus Vili. Vili's got one point ahead in this best of three. Well, this tableau does not have very much to do. He can still stun and slow on skill. Well, rather just stun on skill two. Let's see if Masha is going to do enough damage with the Leo limiting it. Here we go. Leo takes first turn into Barbara, like always. Gets an additional turn, puts more damage into her. Oliver cuts in. Here we go. Impulse gun onto Leo. Resets his attack bar. Valentis with the stun on the Barbara and the dot and the glancing on the tableau. There we saw the lack of will runes on Barbara was a big issue for Villa Petit because Leo was able to reduce her attack bar that meant that she couldn't boost her team. If you put a Barbara on will runes, it's actually a decent counter to the Leo because then the whole of your team can move before their units because she boosts the attack bar. But because that Villa Petit has chosen against doing that, he is looking in a tricky position at the moment. Catch is looking at a comfortable position at the moment with full HP bar for all his units. Bromos takes a shot at that Leo. Mega Impulse Gun from Villapiti's side onto that Valantis. Valantis is stunned, missing a turn. Impulse Gun into the Leo, reducing the attack bar. Hold on, am I seeing this right or was that a despair, Oliver? Did Oliver just stun the... Valantis or what just really happened there but once again the Veramos has survived for a long time and uh, it keeps on healing up Villapiti's team he might make a comeback here here we go Veramos with skill 2 which is an AOE stun potential goes with a skill 1 tries to land the dot on that Valantis Masha the thing where for... would the thing for catch is that Masha is usually would be his primary source of damage, but Leo limits the damage. So it's almost up to Leo to finish off the Veramos because the Veramos is just going to keep healing up his units. And Oliver is going to take so many says, Yep, it is definitely a despair, Oliver, guys. That is a very unusual tech, but it is working out quite nicely for Villipity. This Oliver's kit is already stacked, and now with the despair stuns going stunning that. Uh, Leo with the impulse gun, which was huge. Marsha with the defense break on that Veramos. Veramos not going at me just yet. Baba follows up. Indeed, once this Leo is gone, once the despair Oliver, that's right, you heard it here first. Despair Oliver, new meta, ladies and gentlemen. Once that's gone, now Villapiti can take use of his tableau skill 3 as well. His Barbara is going to do a lot more damage. And Villapiti is going to take this win, I'm pretty sure. Incredible performance from Villapiti. Veramos MVP, I would say, of both matches. It's been an interesting match. Uh, Marsha has been dismounted. Veramos, skill 1. Into Masha, gets the dot, Mega Impulse Gun, into the Nephthys, attack bar back to zero, Impulse Gun, into Nephthys, increasing the cooldown, Masha, into Veramos, taking that Veramos out, are we going to see a comeback, Masha, skill 2, deleting that, I mean, Barbara, skill 2, deleting that Masha. Honestly, I think Catch has drafted pretty well in both of these matches, but Villa Pitti's quality of his runes probably is what has potentially made the difference because i don't think catch has made super too many mistakes in his draft